The government pension fund of Norway comprises two entirely separate sovereign wealth funds owned by the government of Norway. The government pension fund global, also known as the oil fund, was established in 1990 to invest the surplus revenues of the Norwegian petroleum sector. It has over 1 trillion United States dollars in assets, including 1.4% of global stocks and shares, making it the world's largest sovereign wealth fund. In May 2018, it was worth about $195,000 per Norwegian citizen. It also holds portfolios of real estate and fixed income investments. Many companies are excluded by the fund on ethical grounds. The Government Pension Fund Norway is smaller and was established in 1967 as a type of national insurance fund. It is managed separately from the oil fund and is limited to domestic and Scandinavian investments and is therefore a key stockholder in many large Norwegian companies, predominantly via the Oslo Stock Exchange. The Government Pension Fund Global is a fund into which the surplus wealth produced by Norwegian petroleum income is deposited. Its name changed in January 2006 from the Petroleum Fund of Norway. The fund is commonly referred to as the Oil Fund. The purpose of the fund is to invest parts of the large surplus generated by the Norwegian petroleum sector, mainly from taxes of companies but also payment for licenses to explore for oil as well as the state's direct financial interest and dividends from the partly state-owned Equinor. Current revenue from the petroleum sector is estimated to be at its peak period and to decline in the future decades. The petroleum fund was established in 1990 after a decision by the country's legislature to counter the effects of the forthcoming decline in income and to smooth out the disruptive effects of highly fluctuating oil prices. As its name suggests, the government pension fund global is invested in international financial markets, so the risk is independent from the Norwegian economy. Over 9,158 companies in 73 countries are invested in the fund. On 25 October 2019, the fund's value reached 10,000 billion kroner. According to its official website, Norway has experienced economic surpluses since the development of its hydrocarbon resources in the 70s. This reality, coupled with the desire to mitigate volatility stemming from fluctuating oil prices, motivated the creation of Norway's oil fund, now the government pension fund global. The instability of oil prices has been of constant concern for oil-dependent countries since the start of the oil boom, but especially so in the decades following the first oil shocks in the 1970s. As the real GDP of oil exporting states is linked with the price of oil, it has been a goal of these exporters to stabilize oil consumption patterns, and a host of these exporting states singled out sovereign wealth funds as an effective policy tool for achieving this outcome. The adoption of the GPFG has been in line global economic trends, especially investment patterns. International investment has increased at a significantly higher pace than either global GDP or global trade of goods and services, increasing by 175% over a period at which the former two metrics increased by 53% and 93%. Respectively, the domestic fund, the government pension fund Norway, is managed by Folke Tri GD Fonde. The Global Investment Fund is managed by Norges Bank Investment Management, part of the Norwegian Central Bank on the behalf of the Ministry of Finance. It is the largest pension fund in Europe and larger than the California Public Employees Pension Fund, one of the largest in the United States. As of June 2011, it was the largest pension fund in the world. But it is not a pension fund in the conventional sense, as it derives its financial backing from oil profits, not pension contributions. In September 2017, the fund exceeded US$1 trillion in value for the first time. A 13-fold increase since 2002. With a population of 5.2 million people, the fund was worth $192,307 per Norwegian citizen. Of the assets, 65% were equities, and the rest were property and fixed income investments. Norway can withdraw up to 3% of the fund's value each year. 
The first withdrawal in its history was made in 2016. In a parliamentary white paper in April 2011, the Norwegian Ministry of Finance forecast that the fund would reach $1 trillion by the end of 2019. According to the forecast, a worst-case scenario for the fund value in 2030 was forecast at $455 billion, and a best-case scenario at $3.3 trillion, with 2.33% of European stocks. It is the largest stock owner in Europe. In 1998, the fund was allowed to invest up to 40% of its portfolio in the international stock market. In June 2009, the ministry decided to raise the stock portion to 60%. In May 2014, the central bank governor proposed raising the rate to 70%. The Norwegian government planned that up to 5% of the fund should be invested in real estate. Beginning in 2.